Welcome to Gilroy High School. This is the main entrance from 10th Street onto our campus. This is the Envision Academy, which is a daily blended learning program where students take up to three classes online with the support of our teachers. As you walk through the gates, you'll come to the A building on your left, which is the administration building. This is a building where you'll find Mr. Kapaku, the principal, the assistant principal, the other assistant principal, our attendance, our discipline office and safety and security, as well as our office coordinator. And as you turn the corner, you'll come to the Cesar Chavez Library. This is where you can use computers, research books, do all your homework, and access this building for those reasons. To your left, you'll see the foreign language or B building. This is where our Spanish, French classes, most of them anyways, will take place. On your right, you'll see the BE building. This is houses our science classrooms along with the science labs. Every freshman, you'll be required to take three years of sciences, so please make sure you know where these buildings are. As you come around the BE building, you'll see our C building. C building also has additional science classrooms for students. While at Gilroy High School, you'll be required to take a pathway of science classes. These classes start with biology, chemistry, and then physics. Uh, this is part of the A through G requirements for you to take sciences on our campus. Our science program follows the NGSS standards, which were recently adopted a couple years ago. And then we make sure that you have everything you need to prepare in the area of sciences. Once you pass the C building, you notice in the back corner the CE building, which also, again, houses science and labs for our students. As you approach the D building, please know that this building is where you will take your English classes. English is a four-year requirement at Gilroy High School. English 1, 2, 3, and 4 will be taken while you're here and as part of the A through G and graduation requirements. As you walk through the D building area, you'll enter the quad area for Gilroy High School. This is where the Centennial Circle is. It has the six traits for character counts, as well as numerous tables, umbrellas, and seating areas for students to eat during brunch and lunch. And next we're pulling up to D1 and D2, which is our leadership classes. These classes are so important to the climate and culture of our campus. Uh, Mr. Leong does a great job with our ASB leadership kids who put on a variety of activities and dances and all kinds of celebrations. As you walk past the D building, you'll see our visual and performing arts area. This area has our theater, our music room, our drama room, and also as part of the dance program. I encourage you all to get involved in our visual and performing arts. It's a great program. Uh, with great teachers and great facilities. As you pass the theater facilities, you'll come to the main gym for Gilroy High School. It is named the Bob Hagen Gym. Coach Hagen was a longtime coach and supporter of Gilroy Athletics. The gym is a great area and houses our basketball, volleyball programs, as well as badminton and our PE classes. Coming to your left of the gym, you'll see the back parking lot for students only. And when you are able to drive to school, this is where you will park, and this is the entrance that you will take to come onto campus. As you continue down the path on the right-hand side, you'll see the entrance doors for the boys' locker room. All boys, freshmen, and sophomore years are required to take P.E., if you do not pass the fitness gram, you will be required to continue taking PE as a junior or senior until you pass the fitness gram. You get a glimpse of our new aquatic center that was recently finished and completed for our swim programs, our water polo programs, as well as our PE classes. And as we turn right, here's another entrance to the pool area. 
Um, and then we go through these gates and you see our sports complex with a football field, track, um, just used for all kinds of activities, band, uh, athletics, things like that. Um, as we approach this new building, this is the back side of one part of the XY building. Uh, this was built just a couple years ago for our math um, and our social studies now are in that building. If you were to turn right, you would hit the entrance to the girls' locker room. As you come up through the gate and you hang a left, you'll enter the quad area for the XY building. Uh, the XY building is two stories um, and houses our math classes as well as our social science classes. Um, especially for seniors, when you get to your senior year econ gov, the required class that you will take. Um, heading through the quad, uh, you'll notice some portables on the right. Uh, those are a few classrooms left over. As you make your way out of the quad area for the XY building, uh, this is the auxiliary gym straight in front of us. And as we head up to the left past this beautiful tree, um, this is the student union. Uh, this is where we have performances and activities, but mainly it serves as your cafeteria to pick up lunch. Uh, an amazing array of choices that you have from our wonderful food service staff. Um, and it's a beautiful structure uh, relatively new, uh, built just a few years ago, so please make sure that you respect our facilities, pick up your trash, uh, take care of it, don't do anything to ever damage it, please. Uh, moving away from the student union, uh, we are going to come up on Centennial Circle. Centennial Circle is the main thoroughfare for our campus. Um, it was re recently built and renovated, um, and it's a beautiful area. Um, this is an area where students will hang out during lunch and brunch, um, and also use to uh, walk to their classes. Uh, as well as our lunch and brunch crowd, uh, this is where many of our fun and exciting activities from our ASB leadership group take place. Um, and you'll notice that on the ground are the six pillars of character counts um, that many of you have experienced since you were in elementary school. Um, character counts is always practiced on Gilroy High School as a Mustang. Always respect, always responsibility, fairness, make sure that you're doing a great job exhibiting great citizenship. So make sure that you treat that with respect. As we exit Centennial Circle, this is the H building. Uh, H building houses our, some of our science classes and electives also. Um, and then you'll be coming on to the other side of the student union. Uh, there are many entrances, many doors um, to access the student union. Um, that is the front, considered the front of the student union. This is our ASB office. When you need to pay for dances or ASB cards, that's where you'll go, uh, any kind of um, expenditures for school. And then this is the entrance to the student services um, where you'll have access to your academic coordinators um, and in a, any other kind of student business. Um, you just go in there, talk to the lovely lady Myra who can point you in the right direction. As we come to this fence, you'll see our softball and baseball fields as well as our grass area. Uh, this is used not only for physical education classes, but also our two teams, both varsity and JV, that do a great job. Softball uh, recently winning a CCS championship a few years ago. That's it for the campus tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the facilities that are waiting for you when you arrive here on campus in the fall. Till then, take care and we'll see you soon.